Hello, Libra. Let's talk about the month of May and what it means for you astrologically. Definitely going to be an interesting month with some very cool celestial transitions. But before I get started on your forecast, I want to let you know that registration is now open for my next Beginner's Astrology Zoom class. This class will start the first week of July. We only offer this class twice a year, so it will not be offered again until later in 2025. So if you've been thinking about becoming a student of mine, I hope you consider joining this group. Go to insightfulastrology.com for all of the class details. And if you register in the next couple of weeks, you will get $50 off of the early bird tuition rate. So Libra, let us talk about this beautiful Taurus energy that is continuing for the first half of May, and you've already benefited from it pretty strongly last month, but this month on May 7th, there is a new moon in Taurus, which is landing in your eighth house, so there's some more financial news that's likely, and in addition to this new moon, on the 18th, we're going to have an exact Venus-Uranus conjunction in your eighth house and an exact Sun-Jupiter conjunction in your eighth house. All of this energy together, unless there is something in your specific birth chart that contradicts what I'm about to say, and obviously I can't tell unless you're my client and I'm looking at your birth chart, but in general, this looks to be very positive and promising. It looks to be about some kind of unexpected financial benefit, some kind of financial blessing. And I know that you had that news last month. But there's this continuation here now. And this actually looks like something brand new because it is occurring after the new moon in your eighth house. So maybe you're ready to start something new in terms of joint finances. Maybe you're ready to invest in a way that you never have before. And this could even be as simple as you opening up a Roth IRA or deciding that you're going to hire a financial advisor or work with somebody in business in a brand new way so that you can maybe generate some passive income, okay? There's a lot of room here for money when it comes to eighth house, a whole big arena where you've got royalties, commissions, bonus money, passive income, money that you get from somebody else, inheritance, insurance, taxes. So the list goes on and on. And the bottom line for you is that there appears to be something very positive developing in a financial matter. Now, as we get towards the end of the month, there is going to be a full moon in your third house on the 23rd, and that could signal the end of a contract or an agreement. And this might even be the end of a car lease or, you know, your car, you have to get a new car, that kind of a thing. Or it could be that you're finalizing a short trip and you go and you take a short trip somewhere. A couple days later, we have probably what's the biggest news of all for the month of May, and that is the fact that Jupiter changes signs. Jupiter is the planet of expansion and growth, and Jupiter is going to go into the sign of Gemini, where he will remain for a year. So get used to this transit. Jupiter is now leaving your eighth house of joint finances and moving into your ninth house. The ninth house is traditionally associated with spirituality, divination, uh, religion, faith. It is associated with academic achievements. So higher learning. This is university level learning. This is certifications, licenses. This is also the area of your chart that connects to international matters, all sorts of international ventures. So with Jupiter here wanting to expand this area of your life, Libra, a window is now open where you can go back to school. You can maybe travel abroad more easily. Maybe you're going to be doing something that connects to spiritual advancement. And this could be anything from formally learning about a new religion to maybe studying astrology or metaphysics or some kind of divination. It is a, a time where the world is getting bigger for you and not smaller. So don't limit yourself when you realize how many possibilities there are for you to expand your horizons. Because even if you don't quite see what's 
all the way down the road yet. What I know you will see by the end of the month is that all of a sudden the road is clearing and opening up and it's this big wide path and you're excited about traveling it. So be excited about the journey. There are going to be some really remarkable new experiences for you over the next year that allow you to grow as a person, that allow you allows you to have uh, experiences in life, not just living life day to day robotic, but experiencing life. And there's also likely to be something educationally that comes your way that in a year or so will allow you to grow professionally or will allow you to benefit professionally from whatever it is that you're studying now. So advance yourself. Be willing to get out of your comfort zone. Go ahead and, and grow in a new direction. You will not regret it. Have a wonderful month. Let me know in the comments how this is all working out for you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.